Greetings one and all, welcome back to Ocarina of Time Master Quest. My name is Sporkinator, in the last episode we came into this room, got a gold skull and killed everything with dense fire. Not necessarily in that order. Oh, this jerk is back. By the way, map. Don't have all sculptulas yet. Don't know if I will. No! 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 Bad moblin. Bad moblin. That guy is a jerk. What is this? Did I already hit this? Isn't that what started the whole puzzle? I have such bad memory. Yeah, we already did this. <laughs> we are good. Um, what's in here? Well, there's still another room for me to unlock, and I still don't have a key for it. Why, why did I come back in here? Okay, what's this way? Already did this. I am lost, and this is a terrible video, just like the last one. And if you get crushed by the waterfall against the ceiling, I think it just counts as you dying, so then you respawn at the last door you came through. Or beginning of the temple? Not even sure. Not gonna find out, either. Well... I'm not sure what to do next. We've already got all the chests that were in here. I'm gonna have to head back again. I'm gonna have to take a look at my map. There has to be somewhere I have not been. Look at the fourth floor. I have not been there, and there's a chest. There's also that mysterious chest on the third floor that I don't know how to get. And there's one more chest on the first floor somewhere. My controller rumble is stuck on. Why does it do that? Oh, well. My controller just starts rumbling and it won't stop. I think the drivers forward are buggy. Booyah! You did not damage me. Because you suck. Okay. I'm gonna make- I'm gonna hang a right here. What do we have? Oh, okay. I think I'm on the right track. This is somewhere we've already been. Ow! I guess I didn't roll. Okay. Remember this? I don't know if you remember this, but I remember this. We were here as a kid and couldn't do anything. And now that we've hit it and made the chest appear, we can't get to the chest. So guess what we have to do? We have to go back to the past, get the key, return to the future. What a hassle. And I think when I do this, my Feroar's Wind will be destroyed. I'm not sure. Yeah, we have to go to the past, come to that room, get the key, come back here again, and go back to the future. Like I said, in the Master Quest, the Spirit Temple is the absolutely worst dungeon in the freaking game. No joke. Oh well. So we're just gonna play the Requiem of Spirit, or I, I, I think I'd prefer just to say Requiem. I'll have to find out how that's pronounced. The Requiem of Spirit. The Requiem of Spirit. Not sure which one sounds better, in my opinion. I don't know. Gonna play? Gonna get those levers to leave me alone? Ow. No, 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 not today. Ow. 
the only way to get into that room is to use the crawl space. And the only way to use the crawl space is to become a freaking child again. Yeah, just when we thought we were done with Child Link? No. We have to come back for a brief moment. Literally, like a brief moment. To open a chest, and then that's it, we're done. With Child Link, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so here's the thing. Get it, Link. It's a key, right? Yes! The final key, maybe. I don't even know. Might as well refill our health before we go. Alright, and we are going. If I could play the ocarina, that would be terrific. So just in case I cannot warp there with Ferora's Wind, I think I know where the room is with a locked door. I'm gonna try to hold on to that thought and not forget, as I head back to the future. I promise, once this LP is over, I'm gonna take a nice, long break from Zelda. I'll probably do some more battles now. I know Maurice, one of my subscribers, says, Give us more Battlezone! Like, I'm not even sure what they want me to do. Do they want a multiplayer strategy game? Do they want a deathmatch? Do they want some more custom instant action missions? Do they want MPI? I don't even know what they want. Like, I've already done the campaign. And if Ken ever adds HUD scaling to the game and makes the HUD, like, a lot bigger in 1080p and higher resolutions, I would not, I would not mind uh, redoing my Battlezone LP. That would be kind of fun, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure if I would actually redo the whole LP for one feature, though. I will slip in one tidbit, though. Turrets were changed to have dual guns? Well, no, that actually got rolled back. Because that kind of defeats the purpose of having minigun in the armory and upgrading the turrets. You know? So yeah, turrets are now back to one minigun, although although they did ret retain the uh, faster turn speed that I suggested that they should have, which is based on the turn speed that the turrets already had in Deathmatch, because there was a set of specialized turrets for Deathmatch, and they had decent turning speed that act could actually deal with human players and strafing AI tanks. So yeah, that was implemented, but we rolled back the dual gun change. That was actually Ken's idea. We ended up just rejecting it, so... Sorry, Ken. But yeah... I went on a little derailing Battlezone trip there, but we are still heading towards our- wait. I need to find out if Ferrora's Wind is still good to go. Oh, that would be a no. My cast actually disappeared with the time travel. So that was absolutely pointless. I kind of like the sound it makes when it dispels the warp point, though. Finally got to show that off. So I believe my destination is the top floor. I'm gonna take a look here. I'm gonna take one quick look here. Yeah, this is not it. Just double checking before I head to where I think it is. And where I think it is is up here. And that chest is still on my map. I'd expect it to appear there in the corner. Don't know how to make it appear. Any ideas, guys? I'll go back and get it if anyone tells me how to get it. Like, I've done internet searches and I can't find anything that answers my question. But anyway, we have finally made it back to this locked door, key in hand. Okay, this is good. This is progress. I think. Silver rupees. I really hope this is not an optional section of the temple. I really want to shoot all the keys down, but they're not cooperating. Alright. In Master Quest, you could skip a lot of this, because there were no silver rupees. You could just go straight to the top, and that would be it. But, no, in this, we have to actually collect them. There we go. Now, to get that one, 
I think I can grab the section right above it and then just drop. Oh, it made me drop. Well, that's fine with me. And now we just have one more. I did not intend to grab that. I was trying to shoot the keys. Are they cooperating now? Would they like to die? Who wants to die? Come on. Do I need to get out my bow? Alright. One more left, I think. Alright. You're going down with the bow, pal. I'd like to shoot him with ice arrows, but that would be ridiculous. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, the last time I fought Stalfos, I forgot to use the ice arrows on them to see what would happen. Oh, well. Well, that's one way to kill a keys. There's more than one way to kill a keys. That should become a thing. Instead of saying there's more than one way to skin a cat, more than one way to kill a keys. Oh my gosh, I got all the things. And opened the thing. And I'm up here. Not for long. Ha ha ha, I'm not even mad. <laughs> up we go again. Pay for your transgressions against the hero of time! Oh no, another locked door. Oh, there's, there's an alternate path, so I think we're okay. We might be able to get another key in there. Oh, I had a panic attack for a moment there. Or not really a panic attack, but I panicked. I don't have actual panic attacks. I think those are actually a more serious thing. Okay. The door's locked, but this one is open, please. Oh, unless the- oh yeah, okay, I, I know there's a key here, I, I remember this part now, kind of. Okay, so that door's blocked, we are looking for a switch to hit of some kind. I think it's actually hidden in crates down here. I'm too lazy to get out my hammer, so I'll probably just use the rolling technique to break them. You know what, I don't do the hammer thing much. I need to do that more. No, I don't want the darn claim check. Hammer. Okay. Leak smash! Oh, that was perfect, because there was a switch there anyway. I saved a bit of time. Kind of. Maybe. Not sure. But of course, we need to get light down here and shine it on this sun in order to progress. Did we get all the Skulltulas? We didn't. I do not really care. If we happen to find the last one, that's terrific. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it. Alright, so let's get rid of the Torch Slug, Spin Attack. The green one isn't cooperating. Okay, the green one is really not cooperating. How about arrows? I really hope he's vulnerable to arrows, that would be terrific. Oh my gosh, that was too easy. Lizalfos? Wait. Not Lizalfos, actually Dinolfos. Same thing though, right? I don't really see much of a difference. Oh yeah, but we're not, we're not supposed to target. This is not really working for me. It works for Masayanella, but not for me. I am a sad sport. Oh well, he's dead. Not sure what is easier, targeting or not targeting. Okay, okay, before we do anything, we need to do this, I think. Shine the light on the sun up here. Ah, oh, there we go. What did that do? Deactivated the fire? Okay, there was fire here blocking this. I didn't even show that. But we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and turn this while we have a chance. That's good. The fire will come back, so we'll have a chance to see why I wanted to hit that sun with my uh, mirror shield light. Yep, there it is, fire. That's why you have to do the thing in order to turn off the fire temporarily to turn the thing, and... Wow, we've already got light down to the thing. Let's go back to the thing. Why do I say thing? I don't know, I just like things. Oh, there is a chest hidden here. And I believe it is only visible with a lens of truth. And I think it has a small key, because there is one more locked door somewhere. Yep, here's the chest. Right here, totally invisible. Yeah, there's our small key for that other optional section at that other locked door. Where was that? 
yeah, I'm gonna go back and get that. Because that is, like, right next door to here. I think that's where the final gold sculpture is. Since it's easy to do, I'm doing it, okay, guys? I, okay, guys. Yeah, I'm doing it. Need ocarina. So let's get that. I don't know if I was standing correctly. Uh, musical staff didn't appear. Um, did that work? Okay, seriously? Oh, I already did that. Durr, I'm just supposed to open the cor door of the key. Wow, I am an idiot. Okay, I think the Skulltula is hidden behind here. Is there two of them in here? There's two of them, I think. So we need to actually not kill the Iron Knuckle. We need to lure him over and have him destroy this. This guy doesn't stay gone once you defeat him, so if you defeat him, you can exit the room and come back, and you can fight him again. So you're not completely screwed if you kill him. You can still retry it. Okay, so, yeah. Is there three of them in here, or just two? I don't know. Let's speed up in real time. Boom, boom, boom. Check that out. I don't, really, I don't really like to do that at all, because I have to press F4 to turn off the frame rate limit in the emulator, and I also have a 60 FPS limit set in the ATI control panel for my graphics card, so it's kind of an exploit. But whatever, why not save some time? Okay, now we can kill him. He has served his purpose. Ow. Maybe not. You know, I don't care if I'm at full health. I don't need full health. I'm good. Oh, he runs faster now. So I might as well. Okay, he's dead. Now we can collect our two gold sculptures. Oh, you know what? Before I collect that one, I want to kill this one. This is, I think this is like the only chance in the game to do this. What exactly? Nothing too special. Just having two Gold Skull Tulla tokens on the screen at the same time. If I stand in the right place, you can see them both. Yep, only chance to do that. Doesn't really matter. Just wanted to do that. It's funny to collect two of them in a row, isn't it? And with that, we have all of them. So the only thing left to do is to fight the boss. So, heading back up this way, it's time to at last shine the light onto the sun. And this will gracefully lower us down into the upper portion of the main room and allow us to fight the boss. Monsters that hang from the ceiling? This is a really bad place to have one of those. Navi is not kidding. That is the most helpful hint she could give you. I'm pretty sure that guy didn't try to grab you in this location in the original game. Only in Master Quest. But anyhow, let's burn the goddess's face and reveal the hidden path that leads to the boss. Long shot up there. And we're pretty close to time. I'm gonna cliffhang here, guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Sporkinator. I will see you next time on Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Feel free to dislike, unsubscribe, and leave an angry comment. I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.